Hello. We're trying out these uh, bikes for the next couple of weekends. It's the R450 RS and the R450 R. The main difference really is bearings. No bearings. In this option is like it makes it look pretty cool. Oh, that's it almost looks like that's one thousand, you know, plus boxer engines. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy it and come to the aqua on it. First we're gonna have the aqua on it. Keyless entry, so really fancy. So yeah, I'll show you a bit more later on. See you later. Mm, ready, let's eat. The bikes, what did you think? You've been on the RS and I've been on the R. Have food? But yeah, the R was, was fun. I had low expectations, if I'm to be honest. Yeah, sports touring isn't a typical type of bike that I would look at, but it was actually really surprisingly fun. It's just like this is an upright naked position. I think on any type of bike, it's so much easier to handle it. Like, moves really easily, corners are really like easy to, to move around on and to feel I could feel as I was accelerating out of some of the corners on the way here to Nuji that the bike was slipping, the tires were slipping. That's probably a combination of whatever the setup is on Dynamic Pro because I haven't like set up any suspension like so it's just like whatever standard is Dynamic Pro on. And plus the tires, like it's like rain tires that I've got, like they're like commuting rain tires. Uh, Michelin qualified. Yeah I don't like them personally just for like this I guess more sport type of riding I could just feel like the bike goes every time and there was a time I, I didn't even realize I didn't have any music on like normally I can tell because it's I don't know you can just tell but I couldn't even notice it and the engine was just like because it's got a tone to it like the box mm. engine has a tone and it's got so much torque every time you rev and you change gears everything it's like, sound yeah it's really nice because yeah. it's nice and deep and like a rumble I think that's my thing did you not at all for me so yeah it was really good we came up through Tulangi I call it long Tulangi yeah it was surprising like it was just really fun and easy and easy to to move around and it felt comfortable yeah to, to get that kind of lean angle on corners like we haven't been on for quite a while and on a brand new like bike that i haven't ridden it's just as fast as us mm, it's, it's definitely it's, like it's, a it's sport. not faster because it's easier to to maneuver it. there's no storage oh yeah <laughs> we have to assume that like you know that you can lift up the um like rear seat and then there's storage underneath you know like a little bit of storage underneath but um, there was literally no storage. I think it was even less than I would say now double R. Double R you could actually fit things inside. This one you couldn't fit anything. Yeah. I'm changing batteries. Oh, we're a bit low on the battery situation. I need to work out the best, best place to actually put the microphone somewhere in the helmet so you can hear my voice. Or even our voice, because we've stuck it like down here, but it's just way too much exhaust sound you just cannot hear us talking very much okay. but like is the bike engine noise sounds good it sounds better than it would on like the standard mic that's on here yeah so he's gonna go on the r which is the naked one the black one and then i'm gonna go home on the rs which is the one with the fairings i'm actually looking forward to having a windscreen because my eyes are so dry i didn't think i should have brought eye drops yeah they're like zero it's got like no windscreen it's got only nothing on it so it was very very in my eyes so that's probably a tip or maybe for all of you guys that actually ride naked all the time right are your eyeballs just used to being dry and now they just know to like lubricate more all right we'll hop back on the road and we'll see you there
being on the RS felt fun, definitely felt more sporty. You are you know, leaning forward a little bit more, the handlebars a bit further away from you and you have a bit more of that you know, sport kind of race position, but it's still more of a comfortable touring type of bike as opposed to an actual, actual sports bike. I found that I was more comfortable and I preferred the ride on the R. Handling didn't feel too much different. I felt like the R was a bit more talky though. What did you think being on the R? So I felt the R was a little bit small. The handling was the same, but because of the riding position, it felt more upright. For me, as a six rider, it felt cramped. It looks like you're sitting on like a grom or something. <laughs> yeah, it, I definitely prefer the RS. He loved the RS so much, he made us swap back the bikes that we were riding. Hey, you can go. I'm ready. No. Shorter people, RS is good for longer limbed people. But I was okay on this one, I didn't mind it. And we're gonna have her, my eyes are red. I'll do a proper walk around of the bike at some stage. Okay, bye. So to sum up our first impressions, it's definitely that these bikes are really fun to ride. The boxer engines, the way they sound are beautiful. Surprisingly beautiful uh, to ride. Uh, we weren't expecting this at all um, and I totally loved it. Would you say it's one of your favorite bikes you've ridden? 100% I'd really recommend it for any type of riding, twisties, city, commuting, just an easy bike to live with. A nice all-rounder but yeah after riding on them for I don't know how long, how long will be out for like eight hours? Like the whole day, it felt like forever. Yeah my arm was like dead as you can see i don't know i just started getting this weird like um thing arm pump here arm pump but i think it was in my shoulder anyway hope you enjoyed the video give these bikes a go if you ever get a chance to test ride one test ride it you'll be pleasantly surprised other than that as always stay safe and i will see you in the next one bye